So let's talk about the vector space model. Uh, vector space model, as already discussed by Amarha, is basically an algebraic model and it's used for the representation of text documents as vectors of identifiers. And the main use of it is in the information filtering, information retrieval, indexing, and relevancy ranking, etc. Now, the main parts of the vector space model are the document frequency, term frequency, and then we take the IDF. The, are you already familiar with what is the term frequency and IDF? So I don't need to go into the detail of that. We've already just learned what they are. Uh, the new thing is document frequency, and that is just the number of documents in which the term is occurred. It's just another way of saying the IDF. Okay, now uh, there are two methods uh, by which we can find the similarity in the vector space model. One is using the TF-IDF measure, and the other is the cosine similarity, which will be you, which we will be discussing today because it is a more uh, appropriate approach and it finds better similarity between the uh, between the documents. Now, what we do is that we find the angles and we use the angles of, for the distance of the similarity measure. And though that angle determines the ranking of different documents. And the cosine similarity value, as we've already seen in the vector plot, if the value is closer to one, that document is related to the query term. And if it is if it is closer to the minus one on the y-axis, totally opposite, that means that it is not relevant. So this is the formula for the cosine similarity. Uh, it represents, um, uh, let's get into the detail of it. It represents that there are, if we have to find the cosine similarity between uh, a query term in a document, so this is the formula. Q of i represents the TF-IDF weight of term i in the query, any term, and di is the TF-IDF weight of term i in the document, any term in the document. And these are basically the magnitudes and magnitudes are used to, uh, magnitudes are basically used to calculate the distances and uh, they are the lengths of the document and query. And uh, the co cosine similarity is basically the dot product of query in the document over the, uh, um, over the magnitude of query and document. Now, this is how, this is what I meant by when we started uh, the cosine similarity. If it is near to one, that means the document uh, is relevant. And if it is near to the uh, minus one, it means the document similarity or the ranking uh, similarity is poor. So it will be ranked obviously lower. Now let's get into an example. We have three documents, shipment of gold, damage in a fire, delivery of system arrived, silver arrived in a silver truck, shipment of gold arrived in a truck. And the query term is gold, silver truck. So we will, um, this is basically, uh, this is basically the solution. Uh, okay. And uh, let's get into it, what uh, is actually happening in this. First of all, we took the count, simple count, the term uh, count and the term frequencies. First of all, we have just taken the count, like for example, uh, all of these terms, all of these terms are basically, this is called the vocabulary or the dictionary, and this is arranged alphabetically. And in this, uh, in this, uh, when we take dictionaries, we usually do not omit uh, stop words in anything. So when uh, talking in terms of uh, uh, this example, we have just taken all the all the terms, uh, but we do take out the redundant terms. Okay, like for example, if A is a word and it is um, I is coming, like you know, in D two and D three as well. So we'll just write it once because we already have to take the count of it. So uh, let's just see. A uh, is not present in the query, so only the query is gold silver truck. So the count against gold silver and truck will be one one. And again, and because all the other terms are not present, so the count will be zero. Similarly, is the case for D one, D two, and D three. Uh, D one, let's just say shipment. So we uh, D one doesn't have uh, D one has a. Uh, D1 doesn't have arrived, it has damaged, it doesn't have delivery, it has fire, gold, in, off, and then it has shipment. So similarly, uh, we will fill uh, the values of D2 and D3, and then we will take the document frequency. Document frequency means that um, uh, it's simply uh, it's simply like number of document that terms has appeared in, like a uh, has appeared in D1, D2, D3. So how many documents a uh, term has appeared in? Three. Arrived has appeared in D2 and D3, so it will be two documents. And similarly, that that and that uh, column will be filled as well. And then we will take uh, the uh, then we will take the IDF, an IDF would be the number of documents over the number of documents a term has appeared in. So uh, A has appeared in three, there are how many total number of documents? Three. And how many documents it has appeared in? Three. So that would be one. And IDF would be log of D of IDF. So log one would be zero. 
again, uh, uh, if we would come uh, over here, we would come over here in the second one arrived right so how many documents are there three and it uh, this arrived term has appeared in how many documents d2 and d3 two documents so it will be 1.5 and log 1.5 would be 0 0.017 0 0.1761 and so on this will be filled the idf column now we will consequently fill the weights of the terms um, weight is simply what? Weight is the term free uh, term, uh, TF into IDF. That is simply the weight. So we will just see the terms that we can multiply because there is no need to multiply a term with zero. It will all, zero is a multiplicative identity. So obviously the answer would be zero. So we'll just look for the terms that have something uh, that have the consequent IDF against it. So just like uh, we go down in the query term and we have gold. Gold has one count and IDF is 0 0.176. So one multiplied by this would be 0 0.176. Uh, and uh, similarly, the query column will be filled. And for the D1, we will see 0, 0. And then we will come to the third one. And it has 0 0.4716. And what is uh, and damaged count of damage is TF of the uh, TF of uh, this damaged is uh, damage one uh, count is one. One multiplied by 0. 0.4771 would give 0.4771 and consequently this whole weight table will be filled as well. Now, these are the two formulas for magnitudes, uh, 2D and 3D vectors, like it depends upon how much the how uh, what are the dimensions of the vector if it is a two dimension vector that means x and y axis so it will consider only two values if it is has more than one time uh, more than two dimensions consequently three dimension four dimension you know x y z and stuff these that is the formula basically for the magnitude now we will find the displacement and this is very simple what we have done is that we have put in values in this formula and how we have put those values Uh, we will put those values. Let's just say I have for you ease. Uh, the table is over here. We have just put the values in the formula, this vector space uh, model formula. And uh, uh, we will only consider the term does have some kind of weight to it. For example, in the first one, we have damaged fire, gold, and shipment. And we will put the value in it and consequently for D2 and D3. And the same will go for query terms as well. Only those who have the weights will be put in, for example, gold, shipment, and truck. So we will put the values of the, those two only, and then we will uh, and we'll take the square root, and then we'll get these values. And then we'll get the dot product. Dot product is very simple. We multiply the query term with the document term. And um, uh, for your ease, where I've already given the table over here. So we can see only the query term 0 0.1761, which has it, will have any term relevant to it in the in the D1 document. Other than that, every everything is zero, so zero multiplicative identity. Similarly for document two and document three as well. So we found the dot product and we'll simply put it in the formula query, the query, the first dot product of query with the document one and the displacement of query with document one. Uh, a query with document two and query with document two and query with document three and document three. And we will find these values and how we are going to rank them is that the one which is closest to one. So we can see that D2, 0 0.82 is closer to one. Then we have uh, D3 closer 0 0.32, closer to um, one. And then at the end we have 0 0.081. So what it tells us is that how the documents are going to be ranked the most relevant document according to the query that we have given is the second document, then comes the third document, and then comes the first document. So that's all about the vector space model from us.